I'm back. Um, I'm going to show you my makeup routine. It's nothing fancy, but it's all chemical free. I will tell you that. Um, I did order the liquid, the new liquid cover up um, concealer that Young Living now provides. It is available as of today. We also have liquid foundation. So if you guys need any help color matching, make sure you reach out to me and I will help you get started with some non-toxic makeup. All right, so what I do, I've already prepared my skin. I've used my homemade serum. I've used my, my Mira face cleansing um, oil to get rid of all the dirt and makeup or whatever. And then I use my homemade face serum. And then I also use, because I have older dry skin, um, the dry skin serum with um, Royal Hawaiian Sandalwood, Cedarwood, um, Blue Cypress, it's got avocado oil, rose hip oil. It's just got all kinds of good things in it. Invest in it. Invest in your skin, okay? We want things that are good for your body and good for your skin. We don't want to put things on our face to, to get rid of our wrinkles but cause cancer, okay? Um, I'd rather have wrinkles than cancer. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I know I would. So I have this all ready to go. It is a blank canvas ready to be beautified. And what I like to use, now there are two different kinds of this. You can use this as setting powder. I like to put it on my face in the summertime before I add my makeup because it absorbs any oil that I have on my face and it kind of creates a barrier um, so that if I sweat during the day, my makeup stays on. I still have that matte look. Um, you can get this with little like flecks of diamond dust in it. I like to glow. Okay. I like to glow. I like my skin to look youthful and glowing. Um, but you can get the matte version of this and this is called veil. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's little specks of shimmering I guess I call it diamond dust. And anyway, what I like to do is I like to take a fluffy brush and I just like to kind of go all over my face and kind of mattify it, if you will. And it kind of adds a little shimmer. And that just kind of soaks up all the oil on my face. Um, sometimes when your face is a little oily or the moisturizer is still on your face, you add your um, blush and your bronzer and it kind of blotches in spots. I don't want that. I want a nice, smooth look. So I add that. Sometimes I add it later on too to set my makeup. But again, Savvy Minerals Veil. You can get this matte or you can get the diamond dust as I'm using. See, my skin already looks better. Just putting that on, seriously. All right, so I don't use foundation. And my liquid cover-up hasn't come yet. So I'm using this. I'm not going to save and pretend because I will be throwing this away as soon as my other one comes. All right. So you can use a sponge or I like to use a brush because I feel it gets in my fine lines and my creases better. And I always kind of go up on my lid and that just kind of highlights that part of my face and I just kind of tap it on and that powder that I put on helps it set, all right? And that's all I do. I don't put anything else to cover up my face on my face. Because my skin looks pretty darn good thanks to Young Living products. Not going to lie. It looks the best it's ever looked. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to do my brows. And as I said before, I use my, it's called Multitasker because there's more than one use for it. And it's like a dark reddish brown 
color. And what I like to do is I like using an eyebrow brush like so. And I just kind of tap in there in the powder. And I have to look in my mirror. Sorry, I'm out of practice as far as looking in my phone, so. And I just kind of go where my natural brow is. And then I just add to it. Like so. I don't know if you can see that or not. And it looks a little dark right now, but I kind of go over it with that setting powder and it looks fine. And this stuff lasts forever on your face, seriously. It's got some, well, it's mineral based, so I'm sure the dyes from the mineral is what helps it last on your face. So I just do that. You can brush through that or what I do is I'll take a small brush and I'll dip right back into my veil or my setting powder. And I just kind of go over the top of it and see how much lighter. It looks a little more faded and muted and it's fine because once I get the rest of my eye makeup on, it's gonna look fine. But yeah, so those are my brows. Got them on, see how fast that was? See how fast that was? No big deal. All right, so now I like to use my Summer Loved Bronzer. And this is also Savvy Minerals. And I just tap out on my lid and then I take a fluffy brush like this and what I do is I'll go up here I'm wearing a hat today because I'm not dealing with my hair but you go up along your hairline and you come down the side like so see you kind of add shadow to your face is what you're doing and my dog is barking at the squirrels on TV I got squirrel TV on for him today. And then I add color to my cheek. And make sure you remember your ears because if you're out in the sun, your ears are gonna have some color on them too. See what I'm doing? I'm adding interest to my face. And then I add a little on my nose. Come down here. Bam, done. All right, so I also like to add some to my eyelids because who doesn't want a little color up here? And I gotta look in my mirror. Okay, all right, like so, voila. So now I want to add a little something extra to my eyes. So I have Savvy Minerals and this is called Residual and it is sparkly. See how pretty it is? It's kind of like a sparkly nude color. And what I like to do is I like to take a brush and I like to go over my lid area with a little sparkle. And then I also like to kind of get up under my brow like that and see what I mean about your eyebrows. They're kind of like not so noticeable once you get your eye makeup on. So don't worry about them being too dark. And then I put a little up here. Yeah. And you could also totally put some on your nose as a highlight. We have all kinds of products, guys. We're not just essential oils. We have supplements, we have makeup, we have beauty products. We have um, our sleek line to help um, aid in losing weight. 
We have a children's line, an infant line. We have all kinds of good products and you can trust every one of them. All right, so the next thing I like to do is I like to add a little blush just to my cheeks. This color is Charisma. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's a really pretty pink mauve color. And I like to add that just to the apples of my cheeks. Just tap a little bit, because a little bit goes a long way. And I'll just kind of add that just to the apples of my cheeks, like so. All right. Now, you don't have to do this, but sometimes when you add the blush, it's too dark. So I'll just kind of go over a little bit with some more of my veil. And everything is fine. See? See? I'm looking good. And it's easy. Everything goes on so easy. Now, the only thing I have left is my mascara, and I'm just going to put that on later. I'm not going to show you right now. But when I'm all done with everything, I want to kind of set it. So what I like to do is I use my Savvy Minerals Misting Spray. Now, you can totally use this um, with your multitasker. If you don't want to put a dry powder on your brows, you can totally mist a little bit of this in the lid and add a little bit of the multitasker and create um, kind of a liquid or a gel um, if you feel easier doing that. And that's also how you would do your eyeliner if you wanted to use this as eyeliner. We do have a black also that I do use as an eyeliner. It is called Jet Setter. Okay. So what I do is I just shake it up all natural good for your face good for your skin and it kind of helps set all your makeup all right and I am ready to go all I have to do is put on my mascara and I'll be ready to go Let's see beautiful beautiful makeup I got a nice healthy glow going and I love that veil because it has a little shimmer to it that setting powder that I used and this is what I do. This is what gets me through the day and sometimes into the night. So, all right, and we do sell mascara too, but I do not have the Young Living Mascara. I actually have another brand that I use. So yeah, any questions on any of the products that I'm using? Just ask, you know me, and you know where to find me. Okay, bye.